What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another couple of tests on the Mac Mini M1, the base model, to see whether it can handle some of what DaVinci Resolve can throw at it. Let's get into it. If you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out weekly videos helping you guys grow as creators. So I've already done a couple tests on the Mac Mini M1. Uh, if you guys have not seen that video, I'll link it in the description below or it'll be up here in one of the corners somewhere. Uh, I already tested a few things within DaVinci Resolve and the Mac Mini, uh, but a lot of the tests I did was with Blackmagic Raw and it works really well with DaVinci Resolve, obviously because they're meant to be together. So it kind of felt like an unfair you know test and comparison to see does this actually stand up to some other codecs so that's what we're going to do today we're going to dive inside and we're going to see if the base model of the mac mini m1 can handle this footage let's hop inside the computer and we'll get going so i had a whole bunch of different files sent to me all shot on the sony a7s3 um, i've got a whole bunch of different flavors the main thing is all these are being shot on xavc uh, is the codec and then there's a whole bunch of different flavors uh, there's a high medium and low so the first clip was shot xavc hi super high quality uh, it was 120 frames put out to 60 frames um, so it should be a 60 frame playback so first test let's actually just see if we can even scrub through this uh, scrubbing through seems to be fine no problem whatsoever. Let's just try playing it. Again, it's a little jumpy at the beginning, but I think that is just something in DaVinci Resolve 17 that I think they're gonna figure out because otherwise it starts playing fine. You can see it's flickering a little bit every once in a while. Um, so it's definitely maybe dropped a frame or two. All this was shot in 4K and I'm gonna test this in two different timelines. I first got a 1080 timeline and a 4K timeline. Uh, so let's do the 1080 first. Uh, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna grab the original clip that we had that we were looking at. Uh, we're just gonna drop it in our timeline right here. I'm gonna hit play. Again, right at the beginning, a little bit of a problem and I can see it flickering every once in a while, but so far, playing completely fine. Uh, let me confirm that this is H.264, I believe. Yep, H.264, uh, high quality. So uh, for H.264, it's playing back fine. It's got that little bit of problem at the beginning. And again, let me try moving this over a little bit. I'm curious if I play that, that's weird. See, so if I, uh, if I butt this clip all the way up to the beginning, hit play, there's a little bit of a glitch at the at the beginning, but if I scoot it over, hit play. So far that plays back fine, H.264, 120 frames and the highest quality coming out to 60 frames and it's in a 24 frame timeline. This next clip is the exact same codec format, everything. The only difference is this is actually true 24 frames uh, in a 24 frame timeline. So it should actually play back even better than uh, yeah, it does. It plays back completely better compared to what the 60 frames was. Uh, and it looks really good. Um, it actually looks really freaking good. So that plays back fine. No surprise there. Again, this is in a 1080 timeline. Uh, stick around. We're going to jump this into a 4K timeline to really crank it up. Again, this is the exact same thing. The only difference is, is this is 60 frames, not 120 coming out to 60 frames. It's shot 60 frames. So we're going to play that through, see if we have a problem with that. Nope, 1080 timeline, not a problem whatsoever. Playback is 100% at full resolution, so we have no problem there whatsoever. Now the last few tests I wanna do in the 1080 timeline is take the H.265 codec and see if it handles it better. Um, a lot of people do not like this because a lot of computers can't handle it. So we've got H.265 in 10-bit 4K and my frame rate is 60 frames. So this should uh, be pretty interesting to play. I'm going to give it just like the same, give it a little bit of room. And that's what I expected. It's kind of having a little bit of a problem playing through. Uh, again, this has got to be a glitch and resolve. It's showing 24 frames. That is not true whatsoever. 24 frames, there's no way. Uh, so we're going to drop the playback actually to uh, half resolution and see if that will change anything. Half resolution still having a problem. Uh, let's drop our playback uh, to quarter resolution. 
Quarter resolution is still having a problem playing this back. H.265 shot in 60 frames, 4K, 10-bit. Uh, so that, that's a big file, uh, and it's really just... I mean, it's playing, but it's got to be playing at maybe 12 frames a second. And it's really annoying that I can't tell what the difference is in these frames because that, again, this is a beta version of DaVinci Resolve. So you kind of have to just deal with the little bugs that are in it. So we got the same thing, H.264, 10-bit, uh, but we've actually got it in 24 frames. So I'm going to grab that. We're going to drop it down. Let me do my playback back to uh, full resolution. And we're going to play that. That's impressive. Full resolution, 4K, um, 24 frames, H.265, 10-bit. It seems to be playing that back completely fine. And again, you guys got to remember that I'm doing screen recording the whole time that I'm doing this stuff. So that is pulling a little bit off this computer. Not a crazy lot, but it is pulling it off. Come on. Something I have seen a lot of creators talk about and I have yet to experience it and it is something to note is I just lost my Bluetooth connection with my mouse to the Mac Mini M1 and it is a magic mouse. So it is Apple to Apple, should have no problem. Apples to apples, uh, no problem whatsoever. But it is something to note that I literally just lost my connection right in the middle of shooting this video and I plugged it in. Let's see if that fixed it. Yeah, connected, weird. That's really annoying, and I've heard other people having problems with it, but I have yet to experience it. 4K timeline testing. Uh, the first clip we've got is H.264. It is in the highest resolution it can shoot in, and it is 24 frames. Uh, we are gonna grab it, drop it in here. Uh, let me scoot it over a little bit. Playback is on full, and let's see if we can even handle that. Yeah. Playback is fine. H.264, 24 frames, and the highest codec it can record on this A7S III, it works fine. Uh, no surprise there, really. Uh, so we'll delete that. Let's hop up. Same thing. We're going to do the exact same codec, exact same everything, H.264, but we're going to do 60. 4K60 is playing back fine. Um, again, we're in a 24 frame timeline. So this is the majority of the time what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna have things in a 24 frame timeline. And if it's 60 frames or 120 frames, I'm gonna be slowing it down. Very rarely am I ever doing a 60 frame timeline. Next one, same thing, 120 frames. We're gonna see if it'll play it back. Yeah, it's about the same as what we were having in the 1080 timeline. So playback, we're going to go to half resolution. See if it'll, nope, it's not even wanting to play at all. Let's do quarter resolution. Nope, not wanting to playback at all. Quarter resolution, still having a problem. 16, 20, 24 frames. Yeah, it's, it's not wanting to play at all. Now we're going to test out the H.265. Uh, let's start with 4K, uh, 24 frames and a 4K timeline, 10-bit. Uh, let's play it, see how it does. It actually plays fine. H.265, 4K, uh, 24 frames, 10-bit works great in a 4K timeline. Uh, that would be completely usable. Uh, scrubbing. Eh, not so much. Scrubbing still having a hard time, but playback, it seems to be fine. Uh, let's do the same thing, but in 60 frames. 60 frames doesn't really want to play. Uh, let's drop our playback to quarter resolution just to see if we can even get that to play. Quarter resolution is a little bit better, but again, it's it's still, I, you can't edit to that. That's, that's rough. Uh, and then, of course, the last one just for kicks and giggles is we're going to do... Uh, 120 frames and we'll do it at quarter resolution h265 no no not 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 playing at all the last test i want to do is adding multiple videos onto the same timeline and playing it through we're going to give this the most fair advantage i'm just going to do 4k h264 i'm going to do a couple of those stacked on top of each other maybe resize them so we can see them all playing and then we're going to do the same thing but do h265 uh, i'm not really going to worry about the 60 frames or 120 frames because if i can't play 24 frames it's definitely not going to play those others Okay, so I got four video clips stacked on a 4K timeline, H.264, shot in 4K, 24 frames, in a 24 frame timeline. Here we go. 
that <laughs> works fine. Uh, playback is at quarter resolution, so it should play back fine. Uh, let's turn it off and actually go to full resolution. Uh, no, no, it, it's not really one to play. It's somewhat usable, but it's not really. Again, this isn't a multi-video timeline, but this would give you the same kind of results of what that would be. Same thing, but we're in the 1080 timeline. Uh, that plays back great. 4K plays back phenomenal. Our playback should be at completely full. Yeah. Uh, so that kind of gives you a little bit of mixed results to show. Still crazy impressive what this thing is doing. This is H.265 4K 24 frames in a 1080 timeline. Uh, full resolution. Will it play back? Yeah, it actually is playing back pretty dang good. Let me give it a little bit of breathing room because, again, I think there's a glitch in that. Yeah, plays back really well. Again, I'm not color grading any of this, so keep that in mind. And surprising, again, that this is the base model. There you go, guys. That's some more testing on the Mac Mini M1. Take this testing with a grain of salt, as you will. Uh, again, this is just my thoughts and my testing. There is so many tests we could put this computer through, and I'm really just scratching the surface on this. We are going to be doing some more testing. I think I'm going to do another video where I gear just some Fusion stuff uh, towards it and see if it can handle any fusion if uh, not quite a bit of fusion we'll probably do that in another video uh, but that's it for me today guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up drop a comment below subscribe ring the bell all the things you guys are amazing I'm the iron giant see you next time peace